I went and signed up uh, with UNSW Child Cancer Institute and they gave me the opportunity to grow neuroblastoma cancer cells and treat them with different types of treatments that have never been trialled before. And in that process, we found that we could significantly reduce the negative effects of chemotherapy with these drugs. We had to do an Alama Blue assay reading, which helped us see the levels of oxidation. Then we did a protein quantification to see the amount of living cells in order for us to treat with the correct amount of drug. And then we did a Western blot to see the staining and if it will relapse within the patient. And then finally we did the drug treatments to see if the trial drugs that we were using were effective. So my research was about finding how methylation has changed over CPG sites, which, which is um, sites where methylation is added onto DNA, which is a CH3 bond. And we found that people who have smoked have less methylation in their DNA, and that can be related to other health risks such as lung cancer and frailty and heart disorders. A key challenge that I went through was actually accessing a data source because mine was about epigenetics. It was pretty hard to do it myself, so I had to find a data set. So I was very lucky in finding a mentor who was able to provide me with a data set from the Old Australian Twin Study. For myself, I really enjoyed researching epigenetics and I think it's definitely solidified my understanding about science and especially like the scientific process and I think I will pursue science in the future, so yeah. So I looked at, in my project, a particular galaxy and I was trying to find the dark matter mass in this galaxy and I used both H1 gas and stellar mass traces and observations to look at the amount of dark matter mass in that galaxy. Uh, so when I used both the H1 gas and the stellar traces, it showed that there was a great refinement in the accuracy of those dark matter fractions. It significantly decreased the dark matter fractions in comparison to the H1 gas dark matter fraction, which has many implications upon our understanding of dark matter distributions, as well as galaxy properties. I was quite interested particularly in astronomy and astrophysics and so the project really showed me yes this is the avenue I want to go down. I want to go down looking at astrophysics and maths in particular and so I think it really prepared me in terms of what I want to do as a career after school. So. Teaching Science Extension has been such a refreshing opportunity where I've had the privilege of watching students progress so quickly um, and they really get to spend the time taking a deep dive into a specific area of interest where they just don't get that opportunity otherwise. Um, they not only get to exercise creativity and critical thinking in this, but they also get that opportunity to explore what authentic science research is like beyond school. The skills the students have learned uh, will take them well beyond the HSC and they've developed confidence in themselves and have hopefully come to the realisation that science is doable and it's a worthy pursuit beyond school to continue to use their gifts to solve the problems society faces today and beyond. And that makes me really excited. <laughs>